If you're not too familiar with my channel, I usually talk about NASCAR, NASCAR games, just NASCAR in general for the most part. But today I'm going to be talking about F1, the F1 game that's coming out, F1 2020. And they released a career mode trailer, um, diving into the My Team part, which is the new future or the new thing that's part of the career mode. And I'm going to be just giving my thoughts about what's shown in this trailer I'm not the biggest F1 fan. Um, every I watch like a few races throughout the season. Uh, the main race I really watch though uh, is the Monaco Grand Prix. But other than that though, is I don't really pay attention to uh, pay attention to it like that. And um, I'm not that big of a fan of F1 like I am with NASCAR and IndyCar. So. But with the games, I I'm loving the games more and more. Uh, every time, every year they release one. I I started playing the F1 games in 2018. I picked it up when it was on sale and just fell completely in love with it. And <laughs> unlike the NASCAR games, uh, the current NASCAR games that's you know coming out right now, the career mode is so freaking deep, like. Cold Masters is, is on another level when it comes to the career mode. Just the game in general, like physics, everything, customization, presentation, everything that I want in these NASCAR games nowadays, you can find it in this game pretty much. And Cold Masters, they doing this my team thing now to where you can start your own team up. And yeah, the NASCAR Heat games got that, but it's very, very bland. So, yeah, um, I got the video in slow motion, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. And, man, when I first saw this trailer, I already went through it, but I'm just going to be breaking it down for this video, man. But all the stuff that they showed in this video, man, I was just blown away. Graphics look really good. They showing the presets when it comes to, like, your... Um, the driver, not driver, but customized character you want to choose when you first start the game. Look at all these, look at all these um fire suits and helmets, gloves, all different types of colors and you know designs. Something I wish the NASCAR games could let us do. Um, a lot of uh, liveries to choose from. A whole bunch of presets. I wonder if they'll let us edit edit the color. I think you can. I think you can do that on F1 2019. So that shouldn't be a um a problem. Here's when it gets good right here. Choose your engine supplier. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. Jesus Christ. Um man. So you can choose your your power unit supplier. And you can see that it says performance and durability. Uh, you can choose between Ferrari, Mercedes, and etc. Man, like they already like when they showed this part, like I was already like, God damn, like really? We can they they taking it this far, I see. So <laughs> man. Like going into detail with it. Um man. This is how you do a career mode, man. Select team sponsors. What I noticed about the sponsors, these are fake sponsors. Um, these are obviously fake sponsors. The thing that I hope that the thing I noticed though is that I hope that they let us, um, you know, change the the color of the sponsor, like because I noticed that in all these um all the sponsors that are showing, they're they're white. So I'm kind of hoping that we can kind of like edit the color of it, like change the color and to have it match our, um, not match, but just to be able to change the color of it. And then here's the, the you choosing your sponsors. Uh, it says, please select primary sponsor. This could be changed between seasons. Uh, so you got, you got the sponsor itself. The requirements, like the what the sponsor wants you to do, um, to meet 
the expectations of the sponsors. So finish seventh or better in the construction constructors championship. Your weekly income, your goal bonus. Uh, you know when you sign on, this is how much you get. Uh, just this is what I would like to see. Hire a teammate. And what I noticed is that you can hire not only just F1 drivers, but F2 drivers as well. So that's cool. And it's not like that when you hire them, they, um, it's not like when you hire them, they just stay, like they attributes and skills and all that just stay the same. You can train these guys. They're going to show that uh, further down the video. But you know, you got uh, F1 drivers like Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, um, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, and then a couple uh, F2 guys. I'm not too familiar with the uh, F2 series, so. Um, but I, I do notice there is some F2 drivers in here. Look at Take a good look at this right here. So you got the overview, the, overview, the faculties, the R&D, vehicle, corporate, and standings, sponsorship, contracts, driver market, finances, finance, history, customization. God damn, and then you see Sebastian Vettel is showing like his rating, uh, his, his experience, um, his awareness, his racecraft, and his pace. So, they man, like they really gone into detail with this stuff, man. And man, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like, when I saw this trailer, like, I was it. I was happy at first because I was like, man, like this career mode is going to be great. And then I thought about it. I was like, man, why can't we have this in NASCAR games, man? This pisses me off at the same time. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong. Like, if you're an F1 fan, like, or just a person that likes to experience a deep career mode, like, you should be happy. And trust me, I am happy, but it's like, damn, man. Like, I, I really wish that, um, I really wish that they would have, you know, we can get something like this in NASCAR games. So, they really gone into detail of all this, man. Look at that. You get to compare, you know, drivers. Um, look at all this. <laughs> like, driver perks, a social media team, power mapping, media coaching, development feedback. Damn. Um, let's continue to go forward graphics look good like like always don't really notice that much difference in the graphics this year in this game but build your faculties this is the part that, that really got me pumped up in the video like this is part of the presentation and this is what i've been talking about this is what a lot of us been talking about uh if you're you know familiar with me or just familiar with people that's if you're an uh, f1 guy and and a NASCAR guy, and you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you play both of the games, you know what I'm talking about. Like, th we've been asking for stuff like this, deep, de like detail, man. Like, look at that. You got people in the office and, and stuff, and it expands over time. Let me go back to that real quick. Look at that. You got people working on your engine. Uh. Man, it's just crazy just looking at all that. And then the next thing is, um, if I had to, so I actually read up on this, but I guess you got like a schedule and you got like a limited amount of free time to use. Um, and I'm kind of confused about this, but when I get the game, I am going to learn more about it. Uh, but I, I noticed that you're not going to always have the, the most free time. You're not going to always be able to do everything. So you, you might have to choose to, of what you want to do. Um, like what's more important. You see, you got like a stuff you got to do throughout the week right here until the race. Here go the, um, your faculties. Like this is kind of familiar a a aerodynamics, powertrain, durability, chassis, these are new right here, personnel. So that's, you know, dealing with simulator time and fitness center and uh, analysis. 
and then marketing with your sponsor relations and activities man management so man they really they really taking it forward man i wonder if the presentation like the pre-race and the and the post-race would be any different in these games but in general though it seemed like they're expanding on the on the presentation when it comes to this game they was already doing a good job this is kind of familiar right here as well like your power units and gearbox uh this ain't really nothing new i always love though like how you got to manage let me go back to it real quick i always love how you had to manage though manage this throughout the season and of course try to upgrade your durability so that way these these you, you know your your practice gearbox and your event gearbox and etc can last so that way you won't be getting a grid grid penalty if you try to you know swap something out or go to a new you know different type of unit or whatever and then look at this man look at that you they you get to train your drivers man by having them go on an assimilator that's that's some next level shit right there <laughs> that's crazy man and then i guess this is like the i guess like over time as you continue to you know rack up money and stuff and expand you can to get like a, a simulator you can have your drivers be on this type of simulator so this is so I'm, if i'm guessing this is a simulator you start off with you know at the beginning of your, you know once you start for when you first start your team and then you get to that they showing the wind tunnel like let me go back real quick sorry guys if i'm kind of mediocre at this reaction shit i usually don't do it that much but um yeah like you uh the one you was just looking at that must be like the basic you know wind tunnel and then once you continue to upgrade this is like you know this is obviously better <laughs> Look at that. This is kind of familiar right here in a way. Man, it, if you're not too familiar with, like, you know, career modes or anything like that, then I, I could see why some someone would be, like, intimidated by this because it's a lot of information coming at you. I mean, just look at that. You got your contract period, uh, like, how much money you made, all this shit. Like, it's, you really going to have to... The thing I love the most about this game is that you're really going to have to learn how to manage your manage your money. And going back to NASCAR, like in these current heat games, all you do is spin, spin, spin. There's no like salary cap on like it's no it's no salary on anything like that. So basically you you just spin and spin and spin on NASCAR on these NASCAR heat games and then it's like on this game right here, you can um uh, you really gonna have to learn how to manage your money. That's everything that they went through, though. Uh, they just showing like you know, gameplay. I can't wait, man. I'm I'm very excited for this game. Day one buy for me for sure, definitely. The past two F1 games I played, I picked them up when they was on sale. Uh, this time, this will be my first time picking up an F1 game on day one. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was the trailer right there. Um, I can't wait, man. Like, even if you're not too familiar with the F1 games or just F1 in general, just try it out. Like, try it out, and I'm pretty sure you'll fall in love with it. If you're not that much of a career mode guy, then and you're more like an online guy, guess what? Try it out because the online is way better on there than it is on the heat games. It's not even close. So, <laughs> uh, man, like Cold Masters has knocked it out of the park. I can't wait until NASCAR games get on this level. I can't wait. Hopefully, if we ever, if we could ever get there, hopefully, you know, within the next two to three years at least. But yeah, man, uh, that's it for me. Uh hope you guys enjoyed this i know this wasn't too professional but whatever uh <laughs> i just wanted to give my thoughts about that trailer and reaction i guess and uh just hope that this game 
it's not glitchy. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Hopefully everything works smooth out of the box. Usually F1 games usually don't be glitchy from what I experienced so far. So yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna head up out of here, y'all. Until the next video, y'all have a good one.